Hi guys, it's your friendly Asian buddy, Ryan. And what I have here is the Odin Mini Evolved DNA 75C by Vapor's Cloud, Vaping Bogan and Dove Paw. I haven't opened it yet, so it's basically sealed. I'm pretty pumped up about this because you know I love the Odins. I basically I've basically got two. I'm using one right now, the Odin 200. Um, I just basically love this mod. Oh, Juggernaut V2. But let's go back to here and um, let's go check the inside. I'll give you guys my thoughts. So come on. Hi. So. I got the packaging inside here. Let's take a look inside. All right. So it says here Odin Mini. Um, collaboration created by Dovepaw, Vapors Cloud, and YouTube reviewer The Vaping Bogan. It's a single DNA 75C 21700. So you see, classy packaging. I got Odin Mini written in here. The Vaping Bogans logo. The Vapors Cloud logo. I got Dove Point here. I got Evolve. See. Let's take a look inside. All right, we we'll get some social media card. Get some user manual. A Dovepo battery check. Do not use broken insulating skin batteries in all Dovepo products. This is really good. I really dig this. And the Dovepo QC approved. And here you've got the mod itself. All right. Wow. Got some little bit of scratch in here. I don't know if you guys can see this. But hopefully, I think this is just the screen protector. It would be bad if it is not. So yeah, I think it's just a, it's just a screen protector. Um, you've got a spring loaded five ten in here, which is nice. You've got. Serial number 8441, Dubbo, Vapor's Club, Vaping Bogan, good. I'm really bothered about this scratch. I just want to remove the plastic just to see, you know. So, yep, I'm going to put this back on. So, it is really just this, the plastic that there is scratch. So everything is basically good. battery door really snuggy a little bit of a rattle but it is snuggy looks sturdy i really don't like this kind of battery doors but i think they're gonna do this they were gonna do just fine you have some classy battery adapter here it says dove po kinda like it So, I'm gonna use a 21700 Molly Cell. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of these buds. They are really, really good. I'm so gonna put your positive up here. As you can see, it is the only um, indication where to put your battery. That, that little white negative over there 
So just basically telling you that your negative goes over here. All right, it's kind of a little tight, but that will work. Give it a click, one, two, three, four. See vapors cloud. Yep, so it's not reading anything. You know, it's your basic DNA chip. You know how that goes. Me, personally, I'm a big fan of DNA chips. Really nice looking black brush over here. So I, I heard that this over here can take up to 30 millimeters. So I got some few mods over here for comparison. Oh wait, I got the blood toe. Fit in here, I think the blotto is 25 millimeters. You see, just gonna fit perfectly. Wow, looking really beautiful. But I've got no build on here yet. So let's take a look at my other mods that can take 21700s too for comparison. Got here the Ojin Mini. I've got the Vaporesso Armor Pro. I've got the Asmodus Amity. And I've got my Afro Cold Steel. So you see, in terms of the um, tiniest, the Vaporesso Armor still win this one. And with the thinness, I have to go with the App Pro. See? It's a basically good looking mod. But in size, it can go with comparison with the um, Asmodus Almighty. But the Mighty is, you know, you can see a little bit thicker. And this goes a little bit slimmer. But the fact that this mod can hold up to 30 millimeters worth of fatty is basically outstanding, you know, because this mod can only take up to 25. So this mod will look good on any atomizers out there. So I got the QP Neo over here. Let me have them pair up with um, with the Odin. See, still goes really nice, eh? Can basically pair up everything with your um, mod in here. looks really nice and I have the QP juggernaut in here which is 28mm let's see if it's gonna fit well <laughs> no question man there's not even an overhang like nothing 28 millimeters sits in really nice and you still have some extra room for 30 so this is really am amazing you know you can just put any um, RTAs you have there or any Atomizers you have there up to 30 millimeters. You can just basically take them into this um, small compact mode that takes one 21700 battery. 
So yeah. This is a pretty powerful mod. Let's um, have him side by side with the Odin. Yep. So you see, nothing is different aside from the size. I mean, um, the bottom is the same. The back is the same, but this is um you know an DNA mod. So basically, it's different with the brush and everything, but they're almost basically the same. The screens are the same. There's no sharp edges around it. Everything is the same. It's just this one. It's um a single battery that can make that can take up to 30 millimeters, you know. But this mod I think can take up to 60. <laughs> this one is a really big mod. Personally, I like this mod better. You can just basically take it everywhere, hold it in your hand. It's a really good ergonomic mod. It's perfect. I don't have to go through the um, DNA chips, you know, because basically everything's just the same. You guys know already about it. So, there you have it your Odin Mini. So, there you go your, your Odin Mini. Sitting on top is the Destiny RTA by Helve. So, pros and cons. What do I like? What do I dislike? Um, there's nothing to dislike, man. I mean, you know, it's a very good, very solid mod. If I have to give it a con, the con would be the battery door. But that's just it, you know. The battery door is just as good as it goes. It could be a con, but just perfect the way it is, you know. So overall, I give the mod itself a 9.5. Nothing could go wrong with this mod. It can take any of your batteries, 18, 18650, 26650, 21700. It's a really easy to use mod. Con would be, it would be on an expensive side, you know, but... I think Dovepo is going to release a non-DNA chip called the DNA100. So it would basically still look the same aside from the chip, but you guys can go with it. Me myself, I want to see how the DNA chip mod looks like, and I'm very happy with my purchase. It's a really, really good mod. I'm really loving it. Easy to use, it's compact, you can take it anywhere. I definitely love this mod. So that's it, that's my review, and I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please comment, comment down below if, if um, you want to see or if you want me to review anything else. Just don't forget to comment down below. And that's it. Stoke.